Hey, it's Brian Bennett. I am a pastor, I'm a coach, and I'm a strategist. And I want to encourage us in this video to think about the impact of our presence on others. So in every single interaction that we have with a team member, with our boss, with a customer, or with someone that we're seeking to serve, with a child or a spouse or a friend, we are leaving an impact because of the way that we are and because of the actions that we choose in that interaction. So think about all the different interactions you have over the course of a day. And then think about this. What is the impact of my presence on others? And so my presence is how I'm showing up internally to what I'm saying, to the actions I'm choosing, to my body language. All of that is an impact, has an impact on others when we're interacting with them. And for it's so easy for us to not think about the impact that we're actually having and just to assume to one of two things, A, that the impact's good, and B, that we have little control over the impact that we leave on others. But here's the one of the key paradigm shifts, is that by and large, not always, because other people are filtering through their experiences, our presence, but by and large, we get to choose the impact that we have on others. We get to choose what people feel when we walk out of the room. And so this, what we're not saying is, is uh, have easy conversations so that people always feel happy with us. What we are saying is how we do things, even having a hard conversation, can have uh, a positive impact on someone or a negative impact. And so we can, we all have to have conversations we don't want to have. We all have to let others know about decisions we don't want to have to make or we know that they won't like. And that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about appeasing people or being a people pleaser, but we're talking about choosing intentional actions that leave the kind of legacy and impact in the lives of others around us that we want to leave every single day. If you think about the fingerprints or the impressions that we're putting on people throughout the day, we want to make sure that those fingerprints or those impressions align with who we desire to be, the values that we desire to live, and ultimately the mission of our lives, the impact that we want to leave uh, as leaders in our organization, also just the impact on people that we want to leave. So here's a quick exercise. First, write out the list of how you want people to experience your presence. So just dream and write out in a perfect world, how would you want people to experience your presence? Don't think about what they are, just write that list out. The second step is to write out what currently are people experiencing from your presence. So you have the one list, which is what you want for the future. The other list is what people are experiencing today. And then the third uh, step is to develop an action plan to close the gap so that we're leaving the impact and that people are experiencing our presence in a way that aligns with our life vision, our leadership vision, and the values that are important to us.